So these mounted keels can be an absolute pain in Modern Warfare, so if you stick around I'm going to show you how to get them really easily. All I ask in return is that if you find it useful, feel free to leave a like as it really helps me out, and make sure you're subscribed with your post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my other upcoming Modern Warfare videos. With that out of the way, let's get into the guide. So for the camo challenges in Modern Warfare, the challenge is you need to get kills while mounted. For assault rifles this is 100, and then with other weapons this is going to be lower. So it doesn't matter how you get the kill, as long as you're mounted onto an object. Be that a wall, piece of debris, it could even be a lamppost just anything that provides cover. So I like to get these kills in hardcore and that's because when you're mounted onto stuff it's easy for the enemies to sort of pop in and out of sight especially when you're limited to a certain field of view so if you can kill them easily it makes things a lot easier that's why I like hardcore. Particular modes I like would be ones like hardcore TDM, hardcore domination, hardcore kill confirmed and hardcore headquarters. Now the maps don't really matter too much but you want to be choosing ones where you've got good mounting spots which look onto areas where there's lots of enemies running through. So generally the maps I suggest as per usual would be ones like Piccadilly, Gunrunner, Hackney Yard, St. Petrograd, Ramaza, that kind of thing. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video I'm going to show you the best spots on all these maps so make sure you're not missing out on that. So I'm going to quickly talk you through some special tips then we're going to move on to the class setup and then we're going to be talking about the best map spots to get these mounted kills on the first thing i'd say for you guys is make sure that you change your settings the reason why i suggest this is because normally the default is that to mount an object you have to aim down sight and at the same time press the melee button which will either be circle or r3 depending on your setup the problem with this is that it feels very clunky and sometimes if you don't do it in the right combination at the right time you might not mount as easily and it can take longer because you're pressing more buttons so what i like to do is go into the settings and change your mount ads settings i like to change it to the one where you just mount by aiming down sight when you're near the edge of an object so it's literally just one trigger and that's it this makes it so good especially because if you see an enemy and you're near an object and you're not mounted you can quickly aim down sight and it will lock on to that mounted position and then you can kill them as you would do anyway whereas otherwise you'd have to aim down sight and then press the melee button to sort of lock on to that mount position so it's much more easy when you change the setting the next thing i'd say is to use the deployable shield this is a field order it regens very quickly and it's brilliant because a you can use it as cover it protects you especially when you're in hardcore you've got limited health and at the same time you can also mount this deployable shield not many people know about this and you can either mount it from the side or from above so this means that if there's no actual spots that you can actually really mount onto that are good you can make your own one place that bad boy down and mount onto it hey presto you don't need to be near a window or behind a box you can do it wherever you like the third thing i say to you guys is when you need to reload your weapon make sure you're doing it while aiming down sight this is a new feature in modern warfare in previous cods you'd obviously just reload but you'd have to sort of snap out of ads reload and then aim down sight again in this cod you can stay aimed down sight by holding the trigger down and then when you press reload you'll stay aimed down sight now if you see an enemy you can cancel the reload and shoot them or you can wait till you finish reloading and then kill them but it's quicker because you're not coming out of ads the whole time you're staying in it it makes those kills much faster to get my fourth special tip for you guys would be to make sure you hold down areas so generally i like playing game modes where you've got an objective to go to because the enemies will flock to that and you can just hold down that area mount yourself somewhere and get these kills quite quickly so these would be things like domination headquarters that kind of thing it's good because the enemies will try and flock there and you can hold down that area already unfortunately you have to be a bit campy for getting these camos but there's nothing you can do about that that's just what you have to do to get these challenges done now for the setup i was using an assault rifle so i used the singard arms 16.6 inch socom barrel and this increases the damage range the bullet velocity and also increases recoil control i put on an optic which was the viper reflex sight generally any reflex sight is good i also use the perk sleight of hand this just means you can reload faster i then put on 60 round mag this increases the ammo by a bit but not too much to make you less mobile or too slow to reload and then i put a range of foregrip on the underbarrel which increases the recoil control and aiming stability the secondary doesn't really matter but i like to put on a launcher just in case there's any sort of kill streaks or anything like that now for perks i put on scavenger and perk one and this just allows you to pick up more ammo for perk two i've gone for high alert and this makes your vision pulse when enemies outside of your view see you so your screen will flash up yellow to let you know that an enemy either behind or to the side of you that you can't see is looking at you
at you and then you can quickly either duck behind cover or turn around to try and get them. So it just stops you dying a lot more often when you don't expect it. For the third perk I put on Spotter so you can see enemy equipment, field upgrades and kill streaks through walls with a red outline. It just makes it easier to see them. You don't want to be running into any claymores, you don't want to come across any sentry guns, anything like that. So this will help you to A, know where the enemies are so you can kind of get an idea of where they'll be coming from but also to make sure you don't die from any annoying lethal kill streaks or equipment. If you don't like this however you can put on the shrapnel perk this will give you an extra lethal and I'll explain in just a second why that is so important. So for the lethal I've gone and put on a claymore this is because we're kind of a bit more campy a bit more holding down an area in this guide so generally you're going to be mounting onto a window or some cover or something so generally behind you is quite vulnerable so especially if you're in a building or somewhere you can put a claymore behind you and if enemies come up to you it generally makes you a little bit safer by having that claymore there for tacticals i put on this snapshot grenade this is just because if you have an idea that there might be some enemies nearby you can throw the snapshot grenade and see if there are enemies there and where they are that gives you an idea of just what to expect for kill streaks, it's the usual personal radar and UAV. These are both non-lethal score streaks, so they don't take away from your kills you get while mounted. And then for the field upgrades, like I said, deployable cover is what you're going to want. So now we're going to talk about the best map spots on each map. I'm going to quickly go through some of my favourite spots. So these are going to be the ones on Hackney Yard. There are also some great ones on Piccadilly. St. Petrograd has some really good ones as well. And Gunrunner can be quite good for certain spots. And then Ramaza is alright as well. Now, I hope you found this useful. If you did, be sure to leave me a like. It really helps me out and it lets other people find the video. If there's any tips you can think of that I haven't mentioned, be sure to leave it down below in the comment section. But anyway, if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to subscribe with your post notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of my latest Modern Warfare videos. So all that's left to say is thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all on the next one.